or paying out of pocket for their health care, especially with the health care laws and the way things have changed, um, paying out of pocket for health care, you're paying for the diabetes prevention. I'm sorry, your, your diabetic medicine. Right. You're also paying for tests and things of that nature. But when you start living healthy and then you could move into brackets for your health care, your health coverage, not needing to, to carry as much because you're not needing to use as much, but you're doing that because you're living a healthier lifestyle. Okay. okay. That's awesome. That's really fantastic advice. And you know, there are 1.9 million Hoosiers who have pre-diabetes. Mm -hmm. So you've got your work cut out for you. You've yes. got to hit those yes. 1.9 million so that they don't develop diabetes. And that's just on kind of on the verge. And so there are some steps that you can put in place that could tip you back the other way. And there are, so many different activities. Um, a big thing, people are big into physical activity, which is great. So it's Zumba classes and it's water yes, polo. I love and it's Zumba. Swimming. It's fun. It's fun. Finding those things. So mm -hmm. not doing the things that are so um, taxing. It's like I'm dreading, oh my gosh, doing you can exercise 100 at home. more steps on That's the right. Stairmaster and all the Finding the things that are fun and doing it in groups. Going to your your group Zumba class and right. doing things of that nature. The I know an organization, the uh, Black Girls Run, is mm -hmm. a wonderful organization that doesn't just run because some people aren't in the position to run. Exactly. They have a walk before you run. And so that's women getting together collectively, maybe women that don't even know each other and going and walking and starting where you are and not expecting yourself to be something that you're not. But you are doing things that are putting yourself in a better position, health, wise and also you're showing that to your family you're Fantastic showing your family support network yes exactly it's a yes. good support network so um jennifer i do want to ask you a question what about healthy eating healthy eating is it's an interesting thing because we get foods that are in the market and it says diet and low fat and this right it is my honest advice to eat fresh foods exactly. eat whole foods eat fresh foods when in doubt, eat fresh foods. And I think you can get lost in the in the supermarket buying stuff and it says this is fat free and this is low fat and this is this, that, and the other. I think it's best if you can just start with eating an apple. Okay. Eating some carrots, right. eating a handful of almonds. Start with some real food. Um and the biggest thing, and I love juice blends. I juice blends. A lot of people call them smoothies. Right. I love them. Live by them. They're they're great. Right. Remembering, especially when we're speaking about diabetes, remembering that the sugar from your apples and your strawberries are still sugar, and so you don't want to overdo with the fresh fruit. Include vegetables. So doing smoothies are great. Also include some kale, include, include some other things, but also out throughout the day as you're snacking, there are many different things you can do and different things you can try for snacks as a, alternatives to fast food and your fried chips and stuff like that. Okay. Well, thank you for that information, um, Miss Jennifer. And I did want to say, I real quick, I just want to um, also hit on this. I did see on your page when I did a little research that you said about gardening. I do gardening and I love gardening. And I believe in eating out the garden. So, how deeply are you involved with gardening? I love gardening. Um, I didn't do so great this year, I have to be honest. Um, there is an organization, CWU, it's the Center for Wellness of Urban Women, that actually does a gardening program and a gardening class generally in the spring and they are hands-on with teaching people how to garden mm -hmm. they also have um, miss mary's garden who is i'm sorry which is out on the west side i want to say off of 16th street but there are a lot of community gardens yes, i know yes i mean i go around when i drive i see them all the time like oh look at that garden look at that garden. i'm just so big i'm like i should stop well, what am I going to do? <laughs> but there are so many organizations that yeah. have them. And I know for personally for that um, CWU, the Center for Wellness mm -hmm. of Urban Women, does a lot with teaching people how to garden, okay. how to do it themselves, okay. which is an amazing thing because I don't want to just go to the, by all means, it's great, just go to the market and buy fresh foods, mm -hmm. fruit, uh, foods and vegetables. I would love to be able to know how to grow my own cucumbers and grow some tomatoes I and some strawberries. I can teach you, girl, honey. I learned and, my own um, two years ago. I got a whole garden backyard, and honey, it's a lot of work, I tell you, but it's a great benefit. It is. It's it a is. great benefit. And so, that, so those organizations, and then when you see those community gardens, 
A lot of people are very engaging and willing to share. It's a lot share. of work. I just know they're going to ask me to do some work. and I <laughs> <laughs> No more. No more gardens. That's anyway, so guys, we're going to break. Um, We will be back in... After that, we're going to be talking to Creating Good Karma with Keandra Blewett. So Woo! stay with us.